Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 25 and the Make It Harder series. Episode number 10, double digits already. I know I was a bit slow to start, I managed to catch up a little bit and now I'm back to being slow again. Uh, but yeah, going pretty good I think. This is uh, definitely one of those kind of generic series where I'm just kind of learning the game to be honest with you. This is definitely not going to be a main main series on the channel, but for here and now, it's it's all we got. It's the best of what we got. I have been toying with the idea of playing the uh, new frontier, but oh dear, I seem to drop bales a lot now. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll set that up on some form of server or something. But anyway, I hope everyone is well. I'm just doing some uh, background chores here, just while I'm doing a bit of talking. I don't think. To be honest, these water buffalo urgently need food. But I tell you what, since the update, you seem to drop your bales a lot. Like, it's not I'm not even sprinting, I'm just walking here. And it keeps on dropping them. It's a little bit annoying, isn't it? There we go. Hey, they fix they fix uh, eighty percent of things and then make about forty percent of things worse. So overall 60% better, that's a good guess, isn't it? Maybe, something like that. Um, but anyway, right, I think that'll do. How are they actually looking? Yeah, they've got loads of that. 3,144. So all is good this air. I'll tell you what I will just do is have a look. There's nothing there. Oh, we have got something here, though. So these must be the, yeah, the Anoki mushrooms. So they're kind of pre-packaged, which is pretty cool. So we're rolling with a thousand liters of enoki mushrooms. What are they worth? What are they even worth? How do I even find out the price again? There we go. Um, no. Good. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is the absolute worst possible time to be selling them. But to be fair, there's only 200 pounds really between the best price and the worst price. There isn't a lot of give on them, is there? So yeah, potentially, I mean, I don't know. Do we need the money? We'll have to consider that in the background. This, to be honest, is more, again, more of that kind of test for me to see how things work, see how things look, see see what's worth doing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of money in there, is there really? But didn't have to do a lot of work to get them. So here we have... You wouldn't have seen this in the last episode, in fact, would you? Because I had the, the resolution issues. So, again, I noticed... I know it's, uh, it's all being fixed now at my end, so it'll be nice to know if you can see a difference in quality again. The game is being played at a higher resolution now, so for me it looks even better. Even better, which is amazing. Now, these all pretty much grow at the same speed there, by the look of it. Spring onion, cabbage, chilli peppers and garlic all pretty much generated the most. So the garlic and chilli peppers are actually producing a little bit more, but... Good, so there's going to be a pallet of each of them. And again, that's only there really, so I can see what they look like. Now, money has gone down though. 1,736. There was like four grand bill, I think, something like that, when we skipped through the month. It is quite high now. Now, that is, of course, because we've got a, a bit of a loan. We've got that, which is costing the most. Yeah, that, that's costing quite a bit, actually. And, uh, yeah, just... just uh, <laughs> Just various things we keep leasing. The tether's not ours. The harvester, of course, isn't ours. Yeah. How are these looking? 269 litres. Probably worth giving them a top up, I would say. Uh, we will just get rid of this bag, I think. So let's do that first of all. Oh, I need to get rid of that windmill. Yeah. I don't know what that's like. I'm going to do that now, actually, because I've been saying that a couple of episodes. It's very, very noisy. Whenever I kind of skim over it, it's very noisy through my headset. But I think it's even worse, actually, when it, it comes through on a game. I'm not selling it for the money. And I liked it being there, if I'm honest with you. I did actually like it. It looks quite good. But I, I can't deal with that. I'm having to uh, edit the, the game volume on recordings every time I go near it. It's doing my editing, to be honest. Right, let's just get this unloaded super fast. So today, I know for definite, over there in the background, we've got the straw. We need to pick up that straw. That actually, yeah, emptied quite quick. Of course, I haven't got to worry about food though, have I? Because the harvester is, is nearly, not quite, but nearly full of 
uh, wheat. Was it wheat? I think it was wheat. Yeah, we'll go with wheat. Um, so yeah, there, there's plenty of food there. Again, I don't know actually how much of that wheat that we harvested is actually going to be sold. Probably not much of it at all, if I'm honest with you. But, right, I'm, uh, I noticed today actually, let's go in this view. It is animating the fertilizer again, but for some reason before it showed, well, it didn't show it. It had fertilizer in it, but it didn't actually show it had it. Good. I'll tell you what, I mean, again, I don't know if you can see a difference your end, but for me, playing in a higher resolution monitor, a 4K monitor, the interior of this tractor just looks so detailed now. It's really made a massive difference. Great. Money well spent, I think. Money well spent. Unfortunately, everything is a lot of money. But that's just the way it is, isn't it, these days? Right, we're going to take this back to the second farm, if I can actually get out this way, maybe. Yep. And uh, we get the baler. I can't really, I also can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. I can't remember. I have a feeling I've parked the baler in one of the sheds, sort of like. Oh, no. <laughs> Taking out my own fences now. Uh, yeah, it's in one of the shed. I think it's in this shed. Uh, I can see it there. I'll have to get it from this side. So I'm going to try and use this tractor because, of course, it is our tractor. Failing that, the John Deere would absolutely eat up a job like this. No issues. But, of course, we will get charged for, for every hour of usage because it is leased, isn't it? So if the, if the Sammer can manage the job, then... We won't need the John Deere this time around. It's good to have the John Deere. But is it worth having the John Deere? I don't know. We're, we'll, um, if this tractor is more capable than what I gave it credit for, then maybe we can return that lease. Yeah, it was nice to have it. It's nice to have a brand new tractor. But Right. Um, unfold the baler. That's good. Press the right buttons, not the horn. Yep, that's not the button I want to press. There we go. Now, I know it's got 599 litres of hay. So, is it going to magically change to straw? Yes, it did. Would you believe that? So, clearly, straw bales hold more, or there's more litres in straw. Probably because it's lighter again. Is that kind of how it works? You would assume that grass would be the smallest litreage in the same size bale because grass is damp, grass is heavy. You'd then assume that hay would be the next size up because it's it's lighter, obviously, it's dried out, but straw is kind of absolutely as dry as it gets, isn't it, really? It's just the leftovers from a, a completely dried out crop. So, yeah, maybe that's why it's bigger. To be honest, this will probably be all for sale. Yeah, I don't think... I have looked. There is a... On ModHub, there is a cow barn. Um, which is 40 grand and it's it's the first of many of course there's going to be loads on there but I don't know I just I don't like the look of it so I haven't downloaded that mod now apparently I did read somewhere that actually running over the uh, the product which is on the ground i.e. the straw now does actually affect the yield I don't know if that's true uh, but potentially it does affect the yield which is annoying because when you're bailing you have to drive over it yeah and uh, I'll tell you what that that straw swath left by the harvester is quite large as well this this uh, baler is a bit hit and miss as to whether or not it wants to pick it all up maybe that's just my driving it is quite possible anyway right I reckon in this view will it be easier in this view honestly the detail here it's fantastic. I, I hope it makes a difference. Once it makes its way to YouTube, I hope it's noticeable. Because for me, it just is brilliant. It's really good. Right. This is going to take a little while. Not too long, but it's going to take a little while. So let's chuck it into a time lapse. I'll find some cheesy music. And I will see you in a moment.
Okay, there we go. All done. So let's unload. Oh dear, I always forget the button to do this. <laughs> I've also remembered that I have actually downloaded that mod that allows you to. What 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 what's the button here? Yeah, the the mod that allows you to unload the bales early, but maybe. I don't know. That seems to have uh, stopped me from unloading the bales. Um, what's going on a minute? Turn off baler. I can do. Don't want to do that. Hang on a minute. How, how do I? How do I unload the bales? Oh, okay, right. Unload unfinished bale. Unload baler. Okay, right. <laughs> You've got to turn it off, haven't you? I'm not going to unload the unfinished bell. It's only 103 litres. It isn't really worth it. However, what I clearly should have done was <laughs> unload the hay bale at 599 litres, didn't I? Because that was worth more to us than the uh, the straw. But there you go. The cows would be all right, wouldn't they? Right. Anyway, let's get my head together. What's going on? I'm going to start leaving the grass equipment here in this shed because we know this field here oh dear i'm stuck um i tell you what i mean initially in some of the previews the suspension looked quite bouncy quite flat almost but they definitely on full release they changed it i mean look at this that's just how, how is it? This is a good little test of suspension, isn't it? Yeah, no, they, they've done a great job. Look. Everything moves individually. Probably currently damaging the tractor. Yeah, this this is just very good. I want to see if I can see any, like, shock absorbers or anything moving, but you can't quite. Not, not here. It is great, though. Right, anyway, stop mucking around. Unload that. Cool. Job well done. So, what I need to do is not zoom in so far so I can actually see what I'm doing. It's a good start. What I need to do is get those bales removed and plow. And we're going to go all out now. We're going to plow as much as we can get to because it's only going to be planted with grass anyway. So it's, it's going to look exactly the same. So this needs to go. We need to move the dog. Really. I don't have the money to, to pay for it to be replaced. Um, we have got quite a lot of eggs there as well, I noticed that. How much are eggs worth? Um, oh, they're right above the Inokis as well, that's good. Makes sense, alphabetically, I suppose. Um, are the prices going up? Again, we're pretty much at the worst time now, but it goes up to 4,185-ish if we wait a couple of months, two episodes, so that's fine. That'll be a nice little boost, boost to us. How are these producing? 169 litres. This has always been slow, isn't it? And I mean, we're not exactly covered in bees, are we, really? There's only small, what, four? I'm assuming that's four small hives there. I don't know. We could obviously massively increase that if we wanted lots of honey. Anyway, right. Let's do that. Let's get the pickup truck. I've got to remember where it is. Uh, it's here. We don't want the water container. Oh, dear. That, I can't blame that on the, the controller steering. That was just me bad steering. Right, leave that there. Um, Can we get all of these bales into the back? That is the question. I don't know. Look, look at the reflection on the bonnet of this. Look at, look at it. It's just, the reflection actually on the bonnet looks better than the quality of the image in the mirror. <laughs> Which says a lot. But yeah. Oh, it's just brilliant. I, I know I keep saying it, but this game is pretty good the people saying from a quick look on the outside it doesn't look a huge amount different when you actually start playing it and you go into detail it is very different it's very very different that is for sure right so let's zoom in and start loading these up oh dear I'm trying to unstrap that one Oh, did, no, no, I want to unstrap that one. There we go. Cool, that's fiddly. Right, how are we going to do this? Would have made it easier if I opened the back up, wouldn't it? 
Absolutely. What's the best way to do this then? Let's have a little look. Probably just that way. Yeah, and I could probably squeeze a couple more. Oh, I don't like that it goes through the bed. Oh, I don't like that. That's stuck through the front. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. I wish it had a collision. Oh, dear. Yeah, definitely since the update, everything seems to be hard to keep hold of. <laughs> yeah, you move ever so slow. I mean, you haven't even got to move too quickly, actually. That's a lie. You just, you just move, and it just throws whatever you're holding across the map. All right. Cool. Okay, right. Well, I will carry on getting these loaded up. This this has started out neat, isn't it? The, the bit that you can see me do is neat. It ain't going to look like this in a second. It definitely won't. I'll just keep going anyway. Right. I'm going to pause it from a recording point of view so you don't hear me uh, swearing and getting angry. <sighs> Catch you in a moment. There we go. I deal. Now, where are we actually going to be selling these? That does, I'm assuming the straw comes under the miscellaneous stuff, does it? Um, no, it doesn't. Okay. It's all changed. You get used to a new menu, don't you? Or you start getting used to it. Then they do an update and it changes ever so slightly again. But good. I'm glad straw is nearer the top because I'm fed up with having to go so far down. Um, okay, right. Price is not the best, but we just need to get rid of it. Animal dealership is by far closest option so can I tag okay right again still getting used to the menus where is the flashing oh okay it's right by the shop well that's not far at all is it right we're gonna head to the animal dealership then oh it's the first time I've done a, a marker like that I like that rather than that big green beam of light which kind of shot up to the aliens I do like that this has definitely got some old school farming simulator vibes about it hasn't it definitely i don't know i want to say farming simulator 13 maybe not sure right anyway let's go haven't used this very much actually this little truck so giving it a good run today we'll leave the gate open because the dog clearly just jumps over the fence anyway right i will do it in this view actually yeah, I pulled out. Do you know why? I kept that looking pretty neat, didn't I? Actually, I'm impressed with myself. I, I didn't get teasy. I didn't get fed up. I didn't start throwing them in. I did that pretty neat. I think you could get away with that in real life without getting pulled over. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, this is this is not taking long at all, is it? Oh, I missed the turn in. It's all right. There's another one here. Right, yeah, I've actually, I've walked past here, haven't I? But I haven't been in here yet. So, we are on 1,879. Let's see what we get now. What what do I do? Do I just pull up? Um, okay, maybe I need to unstrap. Oh, yeah, cool, just like that. £2,192 extra we made out of bales. That's pretty good going, isn't it? That's pretty good going. Now, if we say that I made about 4,000 litres of wheat. Um, where is wheat? Wheat, W, yeah, it'd be near the bottom of that. There we go. Um, what is this worth? So let's just say on average 1,000. So I made 4,000 pounds worth of meat, of meat, <laughs> of wheat, and 2,000 pounds worth of straw. So six, about 6,000 pounds there on those two tiny little fields. I had a bad turnaround, is it? That that certainly paid for the lease of the harvest there anyway. But yeah, going forward, we need something a bit bigger. We need something a bit bigger. And again, with this kind of small short series in mind, it's not like keep it real. And actually, this is I said I think forty Farmland 43 I wanted in the last episode. Clearly my ability to count is quite far off because this is 14. It's nowhere near 43. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know why 43 is stuck in my head. I don't even know where 43 is. Not sure. But yeah, anyway, this is the one to go for. Um, as it stands, I do not believe there is anything planted in that field. But we will just check a minute. No, it's, it's freshly cultivated. Look. 
freshly cultivated. So what I want to keep an eye on is, are there any jobs for Farmland 14? And if so, is it worth us doing them? And there's nothing on there currently anyway. Um, so what we'll do, we'll wait and see what is going to get planted in that field. Yeah, I just hope it's not spinach or anything. I hope it's not. That would be annoying. Uh, I will just say as well, I, I made a little passing comment. And I can't remember. I was here, actually. I was looking When I was looking at different fields, and I thought, oh, look, that's a nice small field. It would be cheap. Actually, it's not. It's huge. It's massive. But I said that would have been a good starting plot, actually. And someone should do that at the complete opposite end of the map to what I'm doing. And uh, John has actually done it. He let me know. So, uh, and apparently it's a really good plot. So let, let's, oh, wow. Um, hello, Mr. Sunflower, right in my face. Yeah, so let's just have a look around. He did say it's really cool. It's like, yeah, it's got lots of height differences, which is cool. Do the sunflowers in this game follow the sun? I mean, I'm assuming they do because that was a thing in FS22, wasn't it? As the, uh, I mean, where is the sun? I can't really tell. Yeah, there's the sun behind the clouds. So I'm guessing they do. As the sun goes across in that direction, they'll start facing that way. Anyway, yeah, this is a cool little plot. This is a cool little plot. And while I'm here, I mean, obviously, we're, we're having a look around. But we'll have a little cheeky look for a collectible as well. He didn't actually say whether he found one, actually. So I'm guessing there isn't a collectible here. But... Yeah, you own quite a bit of land here. It's got a nice nice selection of trees. This is the kind of... Oh, we're, right, oh, we're touching the edge of the map, in fact. This is the kind of plot that you, you want to come in. You want to buy this plot and then have zero money and just kind of chop down some trees. A bit of old-school survival style. I think it would be pretty cool. And there's loads of opportunity here. Loads of it. And that, this piece of land goes all the way down here as well, doesn't it? Yeah, part, part of me, looking at this now, this is cool. Part of me thinks maybe I should have. I could have, should have, I'm happy with how I started, but I definitely could have started on this plot. This would have been a cool little little uh, area to start with, that is for sure. Um, now, nice bit of volumetric fog. I haven't actually seen that much of this, to be honest with you, but I like it. I like it. Looks pretty good. Somewhere here, I want to say maybe it's there. I did say I'm gonna, yeah, it's. I'm gonna come back here and have a look because this has just got collectible written all over it, isn't it? And we drove past here and we looked at it. So let's just while we're in the vicinity, let's have a little scout around. I'm sure we'll find something. I mean, that's quite a, it's quite a deep ford. If you're meant to drive across there, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm, don't know. Oh, I like the way that the water even works in the stream, look. This would have been perfect on that other little starter plot over there. You've also got an easy access water source, look. You'd definitely be able to reverse into there. I'm just curious to know what this is. No entry. I don't think so. Who's going to stop me? Haha, <laughs> see, breaking the rules. Oh. And again, this has just got this has got collectible writ all over it, isn't it? Little ladders, little signs saying no entry. Yeah, no, even a roof that you can jump on. Oh, what's down there? Nothing. A roof you could jump on, and maybe you could kind of jump to that. No, you can't make that jump. Um, okay, but you get my drift. So that's definitely got collectible writ all over it. And what's this up here? This is just pretty cool. This is pretty cool. There's got to be something going on around here. A nice little bridge. And here we go again. Look, I paused it just in case I got a bit carried away. But literally walking around the outside of the building. And yeah, th this seems to be... The generic thing you find a shed which just has random stuff in it and there is something here i don't know what i mean i'm assuming that it's that vintage style typewriter it's got to be isn't it but yeah i just turned that that help menu on in the top corner walk around and uh, there it is comes up with collect it must be that 
It absolutely was that. Cool. So I found another part. There's 16 left. Again, I'm not going to go crazy and just collect them for the sake of it. I just want to... Areas which I'm passing by, I'm curious. I just, just want to know what they are. So, and while we're there... Oh dear, I left my engine running. Yeah, it might as well just have a little look while we're there, haven't we? Right, let's head on back to the yard. So, um, I've just realised I'm playing this with quite a low time, aren't I? I like it when it kind of makes its way through the day. Whilst we're at the shop, let's see if there's anything in used. Um, not really. Not really at all. No, and then that's that was there yesterday anyway. Okay, I say yesterday. The uh, in the last game month definitely wasn't yesterday for me. Definitely wasn't yesterday for you. I think this episode, by the time it's released, is probably about three or four days after the last episode. But yeah, that last game month. I tell you what, actually, while I'm talking, I know where there is a collectible. Now that our monthly bills are quite expensive with the leasing. Let's just grab another one while we're here. Let's just know. We'll, we'll pop down. We'll see uh, see Walter, the creepy old man. And uh, we'll just pick one up. I, I've seen where it is already. Oh, is that the little entrance there? There's another little entrance there. Walter, what have you been doing? Why have you let those weeds grow so big? Oh, dear. Shocking. He's also had a bit of damage as well, hasn't he? Has there been like a tornado or something to come through that I've missed? What's caused that damage? I wonder. I wonder where this random damage comes from, actually. Now that field looks nice and nice and juicy, nice and ripe, doesn't it? What is it? What even is it? What is it? Um, sorghum. Oh, it's been harvested. Okay, well, I know what the, the sorghum texture looks like once it's been harvested. Reminds me, actually, let's have a look in here. And um, what was there available to harvest? Because we have got a harvester, which is costing us money. And actually, that's that's not too bad, is it? Where is, where is that? That's near to where we are now. What else is there? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I might accept that. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Right. <laughs> We've got enough to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Again, I've seen this in the stream. I can't remember whose it was. I think it was Farmer Willie B in his first ever stream. But this is, again, this has got those vibes all over it again, isn't it? You can, you can just tell. A shed full of random stuff. There seems to be collectibles in anything like these. Is it that thing? Again, that that kind of... I'm getting the gist of it now. That definitely looks like something that should be in a museum. The rest of it looks like something that should be at the, the scrapyard. But that... There we go. Cool. Right, no more. No more. It's too, too easy now. Too easy now. Anyway. Let's make our way back to the main farm. Okay, good. Here we are. We are back. So, I think... Firstly, I'm going to... Oh, that greenhouse hasn't produced anything anyway. I was going to say, firstly, I'm going to check and see what the animated pallets look like. But it still hasn't produced anything. That's because I was playing it at 0.5 times, wasn't it? Okay. Um, I'm just going to finish the episode on... A bit of ploughing, I think. We'll, we'll at least start it anyway. Now, I do need to think of something for these. Because this is just no good, is it? At the minute, we're, we're feeding them kind of good quality hay. It makes absolutely no difference because they've not reproduced yet. They're not producing milk. And, yeah, I'm not even getting manure out of them. Hmm. I need to I need to do something with this. Maybe we need to sell it. Maybe I do place that cow barn. I think it's 40 grand on Mod Hub, which is a lot of money, but that's a lot cheaper than the base game. So maybe I do need to do that. Anyway, we are going to... Are we going to... No, I'll do the same again. Let's give this one a go. How is it going to cope with ploughing? We will soon find out, I am sure. Now, it's probably going to end the episode with a little bit more time lapse. And I'm conscious I've probably already done a little bit with that straw. 
in actual fact, I'm not really sure how long the episode has been so far. But, for me, I've been playing nearly an hour now. So, we must be looking relatively okay. Now, I am going to have to. I'm very, very sorry, dog. But, I am going to have to temporarily get rid of you. So, we'll get rid of the, the old grain bin. And, again, if it will allow me to move, which it won't do. Um, ah, that's how you rename it, though. Okay, right, we can do that. What was it called? Venus. Right, let's just sell it. Good. And I'll do that now, while I'm here, because we have just got a collectible, haven't we? So, right outside the house. Does make me wonder if Venus is going to wander off outside of the map. Is that going to cause glitch issues? We'll find out in a minute, won't we? Let's place another dog kennel. So, you can go... Where's the entrance? You can go right here. Good, good. And, again, while I'm in the zone, let's jump out. Is it the same name by chance? Um, I can't even... No, it's Zach. <laughs> let's change that a minute. So, um, oh dear. What am I doing? Right, click on that. Rename that to... Oh, hang on a minute. That's not change. That's just changing the doghouse. Uh, okay. I don't believe there is an option still for you to change the dog's name, which you you always could do. Um, I don't know. Is that is that just me? Maybe I'm missing something. There's no option there at all. I can pet the dog. Good. But I can't change the name. Let's just try one more thing. No, the dog doesn't come out there. Okay, if anyone knows how to change the name, that would be cool. Um, if not, the Venus has decided to identify as Zack. Yep. We're allowed to do it, so animals are too. Right, anyway, let's uh, jump into here. Let's actually get on with this now. So, yeah, I want to continue this now. Now that those things are not in the way. How's this, how's this tractor going to do? I mean, it's got 146 horsepower. If I remember, which you kind of have to remember now, don't you? Because the game doesn't really make it easy for you. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. It is difficult to shape a field, isn't it? When you're, you're plowing. It is a bit of a pain. But I'm going to go straight across. Straight across. In actual fact, I probably should have gone a bit closer to the edge there, though. Yeah, let's, let's get a bit closer. Again, I quite like the trees around here, you know. I'm going to leave them just for decoration. But we are going to absolutely maximise the size of this field. Um, part of me is even... One, no, I won't go around the tree, actually. That's a bit extreme. Let's do that. Let's do this. I don't really need to worry about ploughing the rest of it up because it's recently been ploughed and the cedar is a direct drill. So I haven't got to worry about that. So I've just got to use this plough to get the actual field itself as big as possible. So we're going to plough straight over there, right around to here, which kind of works. I don't need to make that wider. Good. The reason I'm ploughing in grass, of course, is you, you get that massive yield bonus compared to just base game grass, don't you? Compared to the meta grass. And we can then doubly fertilise it. I believe we uh, we double fertilised the crop that was there, didn't we? So hopefully we can do that with grass as well. Yeah, it's just a no-brainer. And eventually we start getting into silage, which which the base game allows you to feed, feed the cows neat now, which is cool. But eventually, that will uh, also be a good money earner, wouldn't it? And by the way, the uh, summer, if I'm saying that right, I still don't know. But it is doing a good job. <laughs> it has no issues at all doing this. No issues at all. Right. I'm just going to fiddle. I'm going to try and get, oh dear, try and get some sort of outline going. And uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll end the episode. So once again, hopefully, very short time lapse. And then I'll catch you in a way.
well, there we go. One job well done. I think pretty good. And you know you've done a good job when you've got muddy tyres. <laughs> I do like a muddy tyre. Um, anyway, yeah, pretty good. That's that's going to be a decent sized field, you know. All of this will be grass. Entirely grass. I reckon we'll get a decent yield from this, you know. Um, I haven't gone here. This will kind of be our bit of a backup yard, I suppose. Yeah, eventually maybe we might make that all grass. But for here and now, that's that's pretty good. And again, I'm going to just paint. Once the grass is growing, I'm going to paint in a very faint little like track down to there. So that gateway is still relevant. But this will look good. So once we've um, once we've planted this, probably beginning of the next episode, then it skipped through a month. It should look nice, luscious and green, hopefully. But anyway... For here and now, thank you very much for watching. Double digits, this was episode number 10. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And until the next episode, cheers to God.